Welcome back to the channel guys. I have a piece of foam here so you can use a book, you can use anything that's flat, frisbee, um, to help you get a sense of this drill. So uh, in the vault performance again, wanted to highlight a really easy way for you to just get used to that impact feel and top of backswing, okay? So I'm pushing into this pad right here. My thumbs are sort of pointed out in front of me. And then as I'm getting about halfway back, now the pad is basically to the sky. We can have it pointed slightly to the ground. We don't want to roll it too much because that obviously is going to factor into how open the face is. So basically I get here, the pad hasn't really done a lot. If anything, it's turned up slightly. And then from here to the top, basically maintaining that same position. If I was here, it's going to look like that. I would be okay with it sort of pointed over my right shoulder there. That would get my trail arm in a really nice spot. This is the big key though, separating as I start to come down. Then I'm in this position, okay? So what I want to do from there is take the back of my hand and start to level it off and getting point to, to the target. So you see how that gets the block sort of matched up back to where I started. So I'm here, separate, and then back to that impact position. Uh, really, really good sensation. And then if I just drop this and grab a club, so up to the top, separate, and then sense that what exactly what I did to get that pad back to square position. And then just do that a couple times, get you used to that feeling, and try to copy it when you're out there hitting balls. Um, it's a great sense, always good to work on those body motions to help you be a bit more aware of what actually you need to focus on when you're swinging. So if you're someone with that pad and the pad looked a little twisted closed, okay, what's the adjustment there? If it looked twisted open, what's the adjustment there to help you feel that impact position, to help you control that club face a little bit more in the golf swing? Hope this helps. If you need any more help for your game, check out tellingmegolf.com.